But this is the drop report, and we got King B the Great. Introduce yourself, fam. Hey, my name King B the Great. Um, what are we talking about? Nah, I mean, what are we talking about now? Tell them you got a YouTube channel. Oh, I got a YouTube channel. My channel is called King B the Great. K I N G, capital B, uh, the T H E, Great. G R E A T. There it is. Now, check this out. We're going to go down this small rabbit hole. A couple of questions, right? Not going to hold y'all. A couple of questions. Now, we just seen this little white lady cutting grass next door, right? Oh, she was Mexican. Oh, okay. Mexican lady, whatever she was. Now, tell me your outlook on this lady. <laughs> well, my outlook on this lady, I mean, like, from a woman perspective, from modern day perspective, I feel like um, a black woman out there doing that she gonna feel like and she got a husband i think that woman do has a husband you know what i'm saying but she was out there cutting the grass and the way i feel about it is maybe she did try to ask him in all kind of ways baby when you gonna cut the grass when you gonna cut the grass and all that shit and you know you know maybe she asked him in several different languages as a woman would say you know what i'm saying and he wouldn't cut it so she went out there and started cutting that grass you know what i'm saying and so you don't think black girls do that you don't think black women do that Hell no, black woman, man, especially, no, black woman is not going to do that. You know you're going to catch a lot of The only way a black woman going to do that is they don't have a man at all in the house when she cutting it. If it. You know what I'm saying? That's the only way. Now, black women are strong. They'll do what they got to do to, you know, get things done. But no black woman ain't going to do that with a man in the house watching the uh, football game or watching the basketball game. Hell no. How you feel about Kevin Samuels? <laughs> I, feel like Kevin, I feel that Kevin Samuels, he didn't. I don't feel like his, I feel like his medicine, because he was trying to heal us, but I feel like his medicine left a bad taste in his mouth, in your mouth, because the way he was talking about these women, you know what I'm saying, he didn't have to go that far to where he did, but he was trying to heal us, I feel like he was trying to heal us. Did you agree with anything he went, did you agree with anything he said? A lot of people hate, a lot of females hate Kevin I didn't Samuel. agree with everything he said, but I agree with a lot with what he said. Not when he was talking mess about the women, but I believe... A lot of women hate Kevin Samuels. I know. They, they shouldn't. A lot of men like Kevin Samuels. I know, because he was getting in the women ass. Like, women... Listen, men are raised to be like... We are raised to tell you the truth. Like, we ain't beating around the bush. Nah, bitch. Oh, sorry. We... <laughs> excuse my friend. But we not beating around... We not beating around the bush. We're going to tell you what's straight up. But see, women are brought up to, like, you have to be sensitive to a woman. You have to watch your mouth when you're talking to a woman. And they got in, in their mind frame, you know, you can't tell them what the real is. You can't be 100 with a woman. You can't walk up to her and say, look, I'm polygamous. You know, I'm polygamous. I mean, you can. But How you feel about that? Think about polygamy. Yeah. I think polygamy, if you want to heal the black race you might want to try polygamy it can work it can <laughs> you work you think that's a cure if that's it's not practice the cure. right i don't think that's a cure for it though but if it's practice right right if it's practice right now you can't have all your women in one house and you running from women to women that's not gonna work each woman has to have their own separate space you know what i'm saying that's the only way it's gonna work you can't do it but like Nature Boy. But you do feel it'll work that. Nah, Nature Boy, yeah. I don't know what Nature Boy had going on. You can't do it like Nature Boy was trying to do it. You got all these women in one spot and you just... You can't do it like that. Each woman has to have their own little personal space. You know... What up with Nature Boy? You know, that used to be yo. How yeah. you feel about him now? Man, I love Nature Boy. You still love Nature yeah, Boy? Yeah, I love Nature Boy. He just got to get his shit together. He got to get his, his act together and stop... I feel like he need to stop abusing these women or just trying to show off on camera that he got these women in check. That's not what the masculine energy do. The masculine energy is there to protect and provide for the women. That's what the masculine energy is there for. And the feminine energy is there to comfort the masculine energy. The women supposed to be, like if I'm, I'm a YouTuber, my wife is supposed to be there coaching me, hurrying me on, you know what I'm saying? For, and giving me ideas and inspiration. But our black women is not giving us inspiration. We are fighting against our black women. We are, it's like we competing against each other. Quit there do be a lot of competition going on between Stop competing.
competing it is a, it is against a, your man. It do be a lot of that. I you can agree saying? with and, that. And the way society is today, they got it so nowadays the woman is making more than the man. Y'all don't see where they are splitting the family. America always been splitting the family. They splitting the family with this Section 8 shit. Just think about it. If these women didn't have a lot of Section 8, it'll be a lot of men with women. <laughs> Section That's... 8 is fucking... It's killing... It's, it's dividing families. If you can't... If you can't have a man in your house, you can't have a man in your house. You gotta throw him out to the to the wolves, just for you and your children to have a place to say that's not right, women. That's not right. Y'all winning right now. Women are winning right now. Let Section Eight fail or let that shit stop. It's gonna be a lot of women out here looking for a man. It's gonna be a lot of them. So you think the government has a lot to do with the way women feel now? Right. The government do. The government do. Section Simply. 8 and food stamps, you think that's what it is? You think it's all based on Section 8 and food stamps? That's they. Section 8, food stamp, the sit, the feminist movement, all that played a big, all of that was, I feel like all of that was an agenda. And a lot of our black goddesses fell for it. A lot of them. A lot of y'all fell for that shit. But we, it's time to wake up now. It's time to wake up. It's time for the melanated black man and the melanated black women to put their backs together and fight against the enemy like we used to. So how do we fix it? Is it fixing? Can you can it be fixed? Tell me it how you can fix be it. Fixed. How you fix it? I feel like it can be fixed if we all get on the same mind frame. We all got to get on the same mind frame. We don't need no government. We don't need no we don't need none of this shit they doing. You know what I'm saying cuz this shit is an illusion. This all this is an illusion, and that damn social media shit, Facebook, all this shit is an illusion. Women, I feel like today, women sit around and look at this damn, um, look at this Facebook. Like, say if you got a man, say if you got a husband or something, and your husband, you looking at some girl that you know, you probably know her, or you don't know her. Her husband done took her out to Miami. They on the beach, or they on some boat, or some cruise, or some shit. And, and you looking at your life like, damn, my man ain't taking me here. My man ain't taking me there. But you can't look at life because you don't understand. You, you can't look at it like that. But a lot of people look at it like that. But you can't look at it like your man is not shit because he ain't taking you out to there. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't know what they life going on. You don't know what's going on with their life. You don't know if when they get back, they might have a light bill they need to pay. And then they done spent all their He done spent all the money over there doing that because he's trying to please her but when we get home now we got to pay now reality set in now we got to pay for this shit now i can agree social media has a lot to play with people's relationships these days yeah, that it, should play a big ass factor i'm not gonna lie a big part and and half of our kids are committing suicide because of facebook because of uh this social yeah, media that's true other that families true. do out doing this and they wondering why they can't do the same stuff that this family doing, mom, why can't we be on the beach? Mom, why can't we go to the water parks? I mean, cause baby, we don't have it right now. Society set it up for us to be the low, you know? Cause we don't understand, we need to start, I feel like we need to start, uh, um, um, what am I looking for? We need to start spending with our own people. None of these, why in every fucking hood, it's a fucking, it's a fucking whoever the fuck they are. I don't know what race they are, but they got the corner stores, and we going to spend our money with these people. One thing about these other these other races, they don't spend their money with us. Yeah, we ain't really got too much for people to spend. That's why we got to start opening up more. Yeah, Cause it ain't it. like we got a lot of places for them to spend money. Right. Right. And then when we do open up places, it don't be universal. That should be targeted for black people only. You need to make universal money. I mean, that's you don't true, really got to put a black face on. I take on. anybody motherfucking money. That's black, my whole point. White, Hispanic, Asian. But a lot of things that we but, push out is really, we really support just because it's black only. We only push it for black people. You're not really going to get over the milestone just pushing it for black people. You're right. That's a good point. But it's a start. Yeah, it is a start. It's a start. We need to start buying from black owned businesses. And, and, and I know, you know, you know I, I've noticed a lot of black people have tried to buy from other black people, right? But it, the service is not as well, but you gotta look at it this way. When these white or these other businesses come out, 
they have help with their businesses. That's why they got everything they need. When we come out, we it's all our money. So we might have we might not have the hospitality that you're looking for in a white establishment. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So yeah. you gotta work with them. You know, you give them a little chance. Give them a chance. You know. Now we're gonna catch some heat. Joe Biden and Trump. What's good? Joe Biden and Trump. You you Trump. You. <laughs> oh Trump. shit. I know. That's why I just wanted to get I mean, that out. Listen, <laughs> would you want the president to tell I had you to a get it. lie? What? Or you want a president to tell you the motherfucking truth? Just tell you how the fuck it is. I don't give a fuck about your feelings. Just tell you what it is. I like Trump. I I fuck with Trump. Team Trump. Nah, don't say that. Team Trump. I'm team that. nobody. How about but that? I don't, but yeah, when you get to the point where I'm at, I'm shit, team fuck nobody. Both of them. Yeah, I'm team nobody. I yeah, don't, yeah, fuck both of them. I don't subscribe to neither one of them. Me so. neither. <laughs> me neither. But I mean, if, and that's if I want to pick from the two devils, I'm going to pick Trump. I ain't picking from you? the devil. I mean, at the end of the day, I don't know how to pick when I'm not really into neither one. And, and matter of fact, so, shit don't matter if, if you pick either one. This shit ain't going to affect nothing in my life. Man, I picked, oh, I voted for Obama thinking it was going to change something in my life. That shit didn't change shit. Did it change something in y'all nah, life? No, not really. That shit ain't changed shit in my life. I mean, it got some laws passed. I mean, I guess. For certain Gay people. laws passed. Yeah. Nothing against the LGBTQ, yeah, yeah, FG, FW, yeah. nothing against them, but well, it got their shit passed. It really did. It did do that. <laughs> I'll say, yeah, it did do that. Agenda. Yeah, they pushed that very well. Agenda. Yeah. So what's up with the agenda? Who is the agenda? What's the agenda for the next 20 years? <laughs> what do you think they do? Yeah, Gas it. prices is insane. Food is insane. People have been screaming shortage. You know they saying us the shortage don't similar like, like baby's infamil and all that. That's a lie. Michi X. Had a I, I know Michi video. said something about it. Cause you can, you can get it online. Video. Yeah, Michi just made a video and they had a whole lot of... Uh, and that they was uh it was a lot of they babies. had a shortage on Similac and Infamil. That COVID, that COVID stopped a lot of uh that COVID stopped a lot of them importing, exporting. Because shit is still stuck at the let them. Allegedly, the that's what they say. Allegedly, mm -hmm. that's what they say. But I think it's all for a reason. They planning this shit. All this shit is planned. Yeah, it's everything planned. is planned. All it's this shit is planned. Planned to keep your ass. Needing the government, man. They they losing right now. They they falling out of power. That shit is this shit is going to hell. Thanks you to YouTube and all these outlets. Right. That's if you the only can't reason. Understand, this shit is burning to the ground. Oh, America's see, yeah, America's this doing shit bad is burning right now. To the ground, man. America's doing real bad right now. Yeah, yeah, this motherfucker. And ain't even America, man. This shit is global. The world is just doing bad right now. Right. So you got all these devils running. Yeah, because there's a bunch of devil running this. You got the devils running. There <laughs> do be a bunch of devils running this shit. I ain't gonna lie. All right, so tell these people what you got on your channel, man, so we can get up out of here. Tell them what you discuss and who you about and all that good stuff before we well, get up out of here. Well, me, I'm I, can't I, be the great. Y'all need I to go feel subscribe. Like I'm a part of the conscious community, you know what I'm saying? But I do a lot of video. Well, I ain't got nothing. But I ain't got many videos. But you on your way. But I mean, you on your way. way. I got like three thirty something. 40, yeah. Some fifty something. I don't know, but. You know, and 250 of, subscribers, so y'all need to go subscribe. And it's a lot of, I got a lot of good, interesting stuff on there. You know, I talked about Kevin Samuels. I talked about Travis Scott. I talked about um, what is your signature, what a signature really means. Um, it's, it's just a lot of stuff, different stuff. You know, I, I'm sure that you can get some out of it. Whatever you don't agree with, you just don't agree with. I pass it. and jump over like I tell people. You just take the meat off the bones and throw the rest of the bullshit away. Right. That's what you do. All right, gang. That's all I wanted, man. I just wanted to let this dude get his train of thought out of the way. I mean, I'm going to get back at y'all later. Tell him who you is one more time, and we're going to be out of here, B. King be the great. King be the great, yo. And this is Drop We Out, B. One.